I teach marketing on this show that works for products that don't have product market fit, works for brands that don't have product market fit. If you're a brand and you're not going super viral or it's hard to find your audience, you can still use bottom of funnel search engine optimization to have your audience come to you, to have your audience discover you. You can still rapidly put out TikToks and have the TikTok algorithm work for you to find your audience. But sometimes with products, the, the product is so interesting. It's like, it's like with a, a viral video, the subject matter is so good that it has to go viral. The product is so interesting, so fun, so useful that it has product market fit and it goes viral. And that's what I think we've built. So normally on the show, I, I talk about growth hacking, growth marketing, finding go to market, which is what I'm very interested in. But on this show, on this episode, episode 186 of the Edward show, I'm briefly going to talk about the product that we just released because I am really excited. It's part of reverb, reverb.chat, which I've talked about on the show countless times. I've done the best SEO of my life for reverb.chat. And actually what I'm going to share on this episode is an iteration of what I previously shared previously. So Reverb.chat, it just started as a tool where you record your voice and you share your recording with a link. You can also embed that recording into websites, which was great because it got us backlinks when all these blogs are embedding voice notes onto their websites. They're also linking back to us. It was very useful. And it's a simple tool, very simple UI UX. We pride ourselves in having a simple UI UX. Then we added in the ability to store reverbs and you have your full collection of your recordings. The next big iteration came when we put in a paid tier at the beginning of 2023. And it was great. We started making MRR right away. And then the last, the last update before this update, I thought was going to go viral, but we didn't execute it properly. It wasn't good. We put in the ability to change your voice to other people's voices using AI. We put this in in the very early spring, maybe April. I believe that the idea is a viral idea, and that's why I'm excited, and that's why I gave that speech about product market fit. But the voice models at the time were not good. And so if you wanted to change your voice to somebody else's, I didn't really sound like that other person. We only had one good model, but it was for a niche character. And so it just, the product just wasn't good enough. But this recent update, which we put out literally less than 12 hours ago, I think could be good enough. I think it could be good enough. The models have improved. So the built-in models, the, the characters who are built in, who you can change your voice to sound a lot better. We also give the ability, and very few other companies do this, to train your own AI voice model. You can use a YouTube link or an MP3. You can download a friend's, you know, with their consent, of course, you can download a friend's voice from WhatsApp because you can save voice messages on WhatsApp or iMessage or anywhere. Take that, take that MP3, upload it to reverb.chat, train a voice clone, and then speak like them and do speech to speech. This isn't what Eleven Labs does, which is text to speech. This is speech to speech. In fact, I just transformed my voice right now. Here's me talking like one character and here's me talking like another character. And the reason I can do this is because I can upload these recordings. I can transform the voice within reverb and then I can download them again. So you can also make music. You can put in a song and transform the, the song into another singer. Crazy. And I think we might have product market fit. I think, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to start making TikToks, not a, super aggressively in the same strategy that I described because I'm going to use my personal channel and I can't turn my personal TikTok into a TikTok only about this product. Then I will lose my audience, but I can make a few videos about the product. And if the product has PMF, if it has product market fit, a few videos is all it will need. But either way, we also have crazy SEO. That's part of the reason we even put out this update because we have insane SEO around keywords that are related to this functionality. And we haven't even finished building the onboarding, but this is all live. Everything that I described is all live on reverb.chat. Just click record. 
And so I'm super excited. It's a Sunday morning. It's 8.53 a.m. here in Wrocław in Poland. It's just snowed. It's beautiful outside. And I have an exciting day of work ahead of me. I'm going to send out my weekly newsletter. It's a really good one today. It's always a good one. You can get that at edwardsturm.com forward slash newsletter. I'm going to make a TikTok and Instagram reel about this new functionality. And I'm going to make a few of them. Pretty hyped about that. Like I said, if the if the functionality is good enough, if the subject matter is good enough, I'm not going to have to do very a very savvy video. Sometimes, like I said, like sometimes you need to actually make a good video. I'll give a quick story. I've shared this before. We made this tool called bestreasonswhy.com in February. It used GPT to give you reasons, reasonable reasons to do literally anything. That was what we said. A lot of alliterations in bestreasonswhy.com. And I made three TikToks. It, it was a simple premise. And we were just kind of trying to like experiment with GPT and generative AI. So I made three TikToks in 75 minutes. The first one and the third one only got 2,000 views. But the second one got 67,000 views. And that turned into 3,100 users in a single day. Now, I don't think bestreasonswhy.com had crazy product market fit, though it was a fun product. So it was easy to make good content for it. But I think if Reverb, if this new iteration has crazy product mar market fit, it'll be pretty easy to have the videos go viral. And we might even put in a, an affiliate program to have so other creators can share it. But maybe we, we won't even need to. We'll see. I, I'm just very excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't believe we're releasing this. So we will see what happens. This is episode 186 of The Edward Show. If you want to try Reverb out, that's Reverb.chat. And thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.